Welcome to the final week of Jesus' life, which, by the way, is the most important week of the Christian faith. And more importantly than that, this final week was the most important week in the life of the person that was a central personality in all of history, which is Jesus Christ. And in these, these five short videos, we're going to walk day by day, sometimes hour by hour, through the final week of Jesus' life. And I'm going to start on Monday. This is the Monday after Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, Jesus comes into Jerusalem. Thousands of people are there. They greet him. The Palm Sunday parade. On Monday, Monday, Jesus does something that takes people's breath away. I got a whip right here. Some of you know what happened on Monday. Mark 11 tells us. It says, on reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And here's this one Jesus, this one that's known for preaching about love and gentleness and reconciliation, tenderness, all of that. He walks into the temple and he sees the temple overrun by commercialism, all kinds of money stands set up, money changing stations. People are making profits all over the place. It would be like at Crossroads in our atrium. It'd be like if we turned it into a retail outlet, ATM machines and all of that. That's what's going on here. And Jesus takes the whip. He takes the whip and he cracks it in a physically intimidating way. People have never seen the side of him. And he starts running out the money changers, telling everybody, get out of here. And people couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe. Why did Jesus manifest so much intensity about this? But you see, Jesus knew what he was doing. All the way back in the Old Testament, whenever worshiping communities were established, they had one mission, to help people far from God come to know God and be nurtured in that relationship with God, then be sent out into the world to make a difference for God. That's the way Worshiping communities were set up, and that's what they were set up for in the Old Testament. And now we come to Jesus' day. And Jesus knows in a couple, couple of days, he's going to die. He's going to be resurrected. He's going to go to heaven. But his ongoing message of God's love and power, it's going to be deposited in worshiping communities of the New Testament. Churches, and Jesus knew, if churches get off their mission, they get all legalistic, they get all political, they become commercialized, that message of God's love and power that can change a life, it's going to be diminished, maybe it's going to go away altogether. And so Jesus took that whip. He took that whip, he said, i got to clean up my church because the church is going to be the only hope, the only hope of this world that needs the message of God's love and power. Crossroads Church, 21 years ago, when we started it, we thought of passages like this, and we said, you know what, we got to stay on mission always. we got to be a church where people far from God can come to know God and be nurtured and grow in that relationship with God and then be sent out into the world to make a difference for God. That's what we're about. And Jesus said, that's what the church my church needs to be about. That's what happened on Monday. Monday was a very remarkable day.